hope so you guys welcome to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name's Lydia and I make mental health videos every single day uh, today is a bit different but before I get into my subject of today's video hit the subscribe button down below to become part of our little family our growing family I don't know are you my kids I don't know most of you are older than me don't let me drown hey guys what's going on today I wanted to talk about relationship red flags something that I tweeted about last night and I thought it'd be a good subject to make a video on I want to change up a bit how I make my videos this is like an experiment video so let me know what you think of the style of it how it's edited and all of that because I'm working on developing my own creative style on here and I want to do things a bit differently here are seven signs you are in an abusive relationship these are things that I thought of when I've been thinking back to relationships and when I first started to notice things were getting out of hand toxic abusive I thought I'd put them in a video because this is something that a few people have requested that I do and that's what this video is for. First thing I have to say is it starts to get physical. Once it hits the point of getting physical, even slightly, it won't stop there. It will progress, it will get worse and before long it can become life threatening and if it ever reaches a point of physical contact, things getting way too much need. So I asked on Twitter if you guys heard anything you wanted to add to this video and you guys came through it. My god, I've, I don't normally get that many replies. It's taken me from hating social media and wanting to quit to I fucking love it and I'm back. Bit. I posted this on Twitter and like I said, you guys came through. You are amazing. I love you all. Thank you. In my experience, they take too much and give very little back. They constantly throw things back in your face. They've belittled you. They put you in, very vul in a very vulnerable place. It's like you're stuck in a toxic roundabout. It takes so much strength to, to navigate yourself away from them. But it's important you do for your own good. If you feel stuck, then that's a sure sign to me that you are in one. Leave the toxic relationship as soon as you can before they, they, before they suckle the energy from you and weaken you to the point where they don't have the strength to leave and I thought it was such an important message to put in I've, I read this when I was out I, like I said I think it's a very good point essentially what I said in the video really like if you feel it's a risk leave but I think when you come to leave you have to have a plan to leave and um, that's a video I might do at some point is leaving a toxic relationship leaving an abusive relationship because it's very hard to do Number two is they expect you to do everything. This is a big thing in one of my most recent relationships where I was expected to do absolutely everything. I was expected to basically a servant. If that's what it felt like, I'm not doing that. Once they start expecting you to do everything and they do nothing themselves, it's a big, big sign that things are only going to get worse. I don't think in a relationship it should fall down to one person to do like all the housework. I think you should split it equally. Number three is they don't apologise when they've done something to hurt you. Like, say you had a small argument and you argue and you apologise, they say nothing back. That is another huge, huge, huge sign that things are out of control and gotta get out there. Another one is they make themselves the victim. And what I mean by that is they have to be centre of attention, no matter what's going on. They could have hit you and somehow they make themselves the victim by saying, oh, you made me hit you. If they ever say that, honestly, walk away. Watch out for the one with the hero complex, the ones that tell you nobody will love you like I do, nobody will make you happy like I do. You'll never have love like this again. So my ex from last year said this to me. No one is ever going to love you the way I love you. Good. Because if what she was doing to me is love I want no partner so I thought that was right another important thing to um, put in and throwing every emotion at you and in a space for half an hour leaving you stumped important point Number five is they take control of finances. Every penny you have, all the money you earn, they know everything about it and you know nothing. They need it, they won't let you have control. They, you have to go through them, you have to ask their permission to use your own money. If they ever do that, literally say, bye Felicia. I can't believe I just said that. And in relationships, you are allowed to have your own money. The other person doesn't have to provide for you and the other person doesn't have to control your money. I had this happen to me in one of my early relationships. I had my first bank account. The person I was with made me transfer every bit of every bit of money I had into their account. They took control of everything and then threatened, like, if you leave me, you won't have any money. You can't leave me because I've got your money. And it was a way of controlling the situation and basically making sure they can be a complete little dick. No matter, uh, like, like, no, and then no matter what you say, you can't then leave because you have no means of escape because they have your money. 
they know everything that's going on, they know all the plans, they make all the plans, they don't want anything past back past year. When it reaches that point, just say something. Don't leave, I'm not saying leave, just say something. Say, hey, like you could have run this by me. What are you playing at, bud? Hola, hello, hi. Welcome to this little intermission thing. Put you, bye. Me, I know, amazing. So I wanted to put in this little message here to say that if you are going through something or if your relationship at the moment isn't going great, there is always the option of talking to the person, working through things. Don't think because I'm just giving this advice that I'm like, hey, if things start to go wrong, leave that bitch. Like, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is work through things and know the science before things get too bad. And I had to add this in because I felt like this video has been me kind of like saying if they start doing this leave and I don't want that to be the case at all that's not what I'm trying to say that's not the message here my message here is know the science know what to look for for you and for your friends and then the final one is something that has happened to me in every single relationship I've been in. Go out, do their own thing and leave you with nothing. But they like, make false promises or doing stuff like If one of my other relationships I was in and it was like, oh, we can hang out, we can chill. And then you, I was left with absolutely fuck all to do. It's just a warning sign. Now I'm not saying that all these are major things. These are just things that I know to me have led to me being in a very controlling, abusive relationship. I just thought I'd share them with you because some people have been asking recently for like, relationship advice and believe me I'm not one to give it. I don't have the most experience with relationship and I don't have the best experience. Relationships aren't exactly something I go looking for or that I'm really interested in. Like I just don't, I was not interested. I want to live my life, have fun in my 20s, you know. I, I'm 21, I'm not about this like playground shit. I'm not doing your one night stand stuff. Question, how do you approach the relationship if there are children involved and the person is not abusive but just has a bad attitude? Tell them to fix their attitude, get their attitude right. And I don't have kids, I'm 21, I don't have kids and I'm not in a relationship. What I would say, if I did have kids and if I was older and I had kids and I was in this situation, I would have a grown-up conversation, just sit down and talk about it. And if they're not willing to change, then it's kind of... You should always prioritise your kids above relationships. And that sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. But if they're not a good influence on your kids, maybe walk away temporarily. Put a hold on it. Put your kids first. That's what I would do. I don't know everyone's situation. And that's just my own opinion. I've got quite a lot of response. Like I said, you guys came fucking through. If someone over -talk talks you, picks up the flaws in anything you say, tells you to make, tells you you make them sad when you try to stand up for yourself, definitely counts as an abusive relationship. If they're super nice to you when you're struggling, seemingly trying to get you up on your own feet again, but not supportive of your success or confident situations, not celebrating your achievements, downplaying them, not going along with your good mood, it shows they want to keep you dependent and it's so sort of been there, been through it, had that. Um, when I say relationship, yes I predominantly mean like a partner but it can also be a friendship as this person pointed out and again important point. That's the thing with me as well with the relationships is people in that I've been with have been either abusive, manipulative or just take try it like a control freak and I'm not. I'm the opposite. I just leave things be. I do what I want when I want to do it. I don't do like I'm not like one that's like oh well, we have to do this now and nah, nah, and nah. I don't even know if I'm making sense or not. I'm just in a good mood and I felt like feeling I felt like making a video and that's what I'm doing and my hair actually looks okay today so what, what, what are you gonna say <laughs> um I am doing a bit better today than what I have been this video was inspired by some tweets that I put up yesterday and I posted relationship red flags. I posted that last night because I was thinking a lot about relationships and my past and all the hate that I've been getting recently and it sent me swirling down the path of thinking about my past and obviously my past includes really bad relationships and that's kind of what inspired this video. Uh, obviously different signs are different for everyone. Uh, if you have any video requests or any ideas for future videos, questions you'd like to ask, comments are down below. If you'd like to support me and my channel, I have a Patreon where you can support me once a month and it's a huge help. On the note of Patreons, let's get the ones I've got a shout out. So we have Sky High Tower, Ryan True, Izzy Watkins, Ja, and Agnieszka Kukaba. I can't speak Polish. So yeah, that's kind of all I've got to say. And like I said, if you do want to support me, my links are in the description down below. I do have a book for sale, it's called I've Broken Mind. I wrote it over a year ago. It's not the best. Like, I'm not an author. I, I'm not an English student. <laughs> 
I'm a film student and so with that in mind I'm gonna end this video here if you're new here hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in my next video Peace.